I guess my life reflection of a lot of people's lives is we live in these heavily urbanised places, covered in concrete, cars, technology all around us, but we aspire to sort of go to those, back to those natural places. And it's something that I'm constantly searching for. So, you know, I live in the city and then I come out to places like this and look for nature or just look for that solitude. So it was just a combination of the things I enjoy. So my name's uh, Joseph Michael and I'm a media artist. What I do is combine a, a mixture of, say, photography, video, um, moving image. It tends to be digital artwork. My passions in life, I'm passionate about exploration, adventure, first and foremost, but I really love photography. It's the most simple and simplistic form of art. When I'm taking photographs, it's just me and the camera. I'm always learning every day. Art is about doing complex things for a simple reason. So in terms of what I've created on the museum, it's a very simple idea. It's an iceberg and it's in the city. Like, when you think about it, it's simple, but it's such a complex process. I enjoy the technical challenges. I enjoy things that push me further in terms of what I'm learning and what I'm discovering. We chartered a boat, we sailed across the Drake Passage, and we spent a month around the Antarctic Peninsula. And the idea was to photographically map icebergs. The scale and awe of the place, it has an aura, it has, I don't know, it feels otherworldly. And it's, it's kind of unnerving. In terms of environmental message, I try not to be too forceful with what I'm creating. I, I like to present an idea and not, not give too many answers to my interpretation of what's going on. So in terms of the iceberg, it's just placing it in an urban environment so people can see the size and the scale of an iceberg and then, you know, people will go off and ask their own questions. It's hard to get someone engaged with, obviously, sustainability or you know, looking after our environment based on practical science, you know, and ideas. Connecting people with a feeling of grandeur or the awe of nature, from, in my mind, can, you know, connects them at a deeper level. But if you're not connecting with the heart, you're not really engaged in the topic. The whole project from start to the end of the installation in Auckland took four years. It took us two years to mount the expedition to Antarctica, fund it, crew it, get down there, film the content, and then the next two years we spent um, creating the installation. It was pretty exciting to start to see the um, digital work come into a physical space. You're sort of in a, in a physical world in Antarctica, and then I'm in a digital virtual world for months and months and months, editing, looking at a screen, but then to see, give it a physical present in the real world was pretty exciting. With our projections, we did like test projections on um, scale models. I guess otherwise you don't have a chance before you put it on the building, you need to sort of get closer to knowing that it's gonna work because you, you take photographs. We did like a three billion point scan of the building which gave the, us a building scan, and you're sort of never really entirely certain that it's going to match up perfectly. And so we do a series of scale models to get us close to projecting on that final building. I guess it's like peeling an orange. You peel the skin off the iceberg when we photograph it, it's like an orange peel, and we pull it off and then we wrap that back on, onto the building. The process isn't that simple, it goes through it several layers to get to that process, but essentially it's like putting it back on. The biggest thing I've learned over the last few years is how important sound is for the emotional connection. And especially with art, it's really important that people feel something. So you can put whatever visuals you like. Adding that sound element and paying close attention to the sound really makes a difference. I think the composition was designed 
to transport people to how I felt in Antarctica. I had no idea that each iceberg would be completely unique in a sound signature. I took a sound recorder knowing that there would be potential to capture things, but I had no idea the diverse nature of the sound down there. This is the biggest thing about being an artist or a creative, is you've got to have that lack of fear of failure because in art, you don't succeed all the time. And, and as a creative, not every project's going to be successful. You just have to start and, and see where it leads.